What's up, everybody? I'm Tammy Harrison, and welcome to another exciting episode of Mix Cocktail Hour, coming to you live from my most favorite place in the whole wide world. You guessed it, awesome town. We have a fantastic show planned for you guys today, so I say enough of me just standing here rambling on. Let's get on with the show today. So please give a warm welcome to my co-host, Scott Kushman. Yeah, Timmy, Timmy. Yeah. Woo. We're ready. Oh, it actually managed to get it. It actually time. did. We finally got that right. How's it going? Good. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice and uh, warm. Yeah. Uh, it's been sort of warm-ish here. It's been windy though. It has been windy. Yeah, those Sandy Annies. Strange, yeah. Yeah, they're rough. For some strange reason, it's been a little bit on the on the windy side. Yeah. I'm gonna give a quick shout out to everybody who's tuned in so far. That is Danny, Dixie, Larry. We have uh, Monica. We've got Jen, of course. We've got Paul. We've got Scott. Uh, we've got Jay. Um, so many people. I'm gonna scroll a little bit here. But also, uh, not to forget our viewers on TikTok who would like to join in in our live chat. Hop on over to YouTube to Mix Cocktail Hour, and then you can join in in our chat as well. Right. Yeah. So, so today. Do you have something for me? I do have something yes, for you. Yes, Tammy, yes. I've got a little fun story for you. A little, yes. little, little fun story. Little so, um, today, February 19th, yeah. is a very famous singer's birthday. Very famous singers? Yes. Okay. I mean, he's, he's kind of like a bit sort of 90s, 2000s, but people still know him. Is it Sugar Ray? It is not. It's not Sugar it's Ray? A great guess, but no. Close? No. Damn. Absolutely not. So, this person's birthday, uh, he is known, well, I'll tell you his real name, Henry Samuel. Henry Samuel. Yeah. He's he, oh. known as... Mark Twain. No. Dang. He's known as Seal. Seal? Yes. <laughs> oh, Seal. Yeah. And oh. I had a very fun huh. interaction. Wait, I'm sorry, are we saying that he is very famous? Did I say very? Oh, what did you say? <laughs> Whatever. Anyway. Yeah, whatever you said. Anyway. I think maybe you used one too many superlatives okay, for. Fine. I guess used to be very. Famous. Used to. I'll take used to be. But I have a. I have a fun. I had a super fun interaction with Seal that I would like to tell him. He. I, I'm. I'm going to take a guess and say he loved you. I'm well, going to say well, he just seems to have a thing for German women. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, German okay. Austrians. Yeah. So uh, I'm in Vienna and I, a really nice charity, gala, mm -hmm. uh, quite an intimate thing. It was in one of the opera houses and it was all fun and we had special guests and there was singing and stuff and, the, and the, one of the special guests was Seal. He came out and gave a little concert and stuff and everything and whatnot. And <laughs> on his mandolin? On his, on his, <laughs> on his mandolin. Bring. And uh, then after um, a couple of songs, he was like, so has anybody got any requests? And everyone was shouting out all sorts of songs, you know, crazy and uh, Kiss Papa, 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 Rose. Rolling Stone and all this kind of stuff. Well, that's the thing. That's, that was my favorite song. Yeah. So I waited till everyone dimmed down a little bit so we'd hear me. It wasn't even sitting that far, about this far away, about mm -hmm. six feet. As everyone dimmed down, I, I yelled, Kiss from a Rose! Yeah. And he stared right at me, uh -huh. leant in, and I quote, said this, if I have to sing, Kiss from a rose one more fucking time, <laughs> I will kill myself. <laughs> and that was my fun interview. Wow, yeah. I'm surprised because that's the only song I know by him. No, you know, uh, no, we're never gonna survive unless we get a little crazy. You'd be surprised to know that I don't know that uh, song. No, I do not know that whatever. song. Uh, so, my drink for today is called Kiss from from a rose. I love how long it took us to get here. This is great. Right? Yes. And funny enough, it was made, it was actually created by somebody called John Cusimano. John Cusimano, sure. Who is Rachel Ray's husband. Oh. And he's quite the mixologist. Yeah. And he made this kiss from a rose. Fun. Um, and it's, pr it's pretty simple, actually. It great. just has um, a little bit of uh, grenadine. Grenadine, sure. Then it, because you can make it with, he makes it with simple syrup and, uh, and pomegranate juice, right. which is basically grenadine. So that, I made it with grenadine. That by definition is grenadine. Exactly. Yes. Uh, tidbit of lime juice. Then we have two dashes of rose water. Okay. And a little bit of champagne. So easy. So seal. I'm still getting my kiss from a rose. There we go, seal. Don't you yell Happy at my birthday. tam tam. Yeah, jeez <laughs> Louise. <laughs> Happy birthday, yeah. man. Yeah. So, uh, cheers. To you. My little story there, cheers. Hmm. 
You are probably the second uh, most uh, angry woman at him with that accent uh, in the world. Uh, Heidi Klum was not happy with him, I don't think. No, that got yeah. divorced. No. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Cool. I say let's get mixing. Let's get mixing. You have it up your sleeve. Uh, yeah, I, um, it's been a while. It's been almost a year. What? Uh, since I have been able to get behind a bar. Yes. And make cocktails. I mean, I, I have my show on a Saturday nights, yep. uh, uh, youtube.com slash kushtender, uh, yep. where I built a bar at my house. Uh, I have this show, which I love uh, so much, but there is something about getting behind a bar and actually making cocktails. Yeah. And it's tough to explain to people uh, exactly what it is. Uh, I, I would describe it as a rage gasm. Okay. Uh, and let me explain to you. Uh, when you are at a busy bar yeah. and somebody walks up and orders one of the drinks that I'll be making tonight, uh, and you are busy, yeah. you are swamped, and you want to literally jump across the bar, flip it on top of them, uh -huh. and say, Listen here, punk, yeah. I'm tired of your garbage. Yeah. Order something off the menu, yeah. or I'm going to rip your eyeball out. Okay. Now, I would never, of course, rip an eyeball out. I would never do that. No. But. Uh, there is but something you've about, about it many times. I've thought about it. I've pictured it <laughs> in my drunken haze. What uh, drinks are, are so So uh, these are bad. the drinks I'm making tonight are drinks that bartenders uh, really really do not like making. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to put a little disclaimer on it. Yes. That is uh, some bartenders do like making these drinks, uh, especially if they're on a menu, or if we definitely have the stuff to make or them. the bar is empty. Or the bar is empty. These yeah. are great drinks to make when the bar is empty. Yeah. But uh, I do want to uh, uh, take some of these drinks and uh, make them better, so at least if you're gonna ask for a weird, complex drink that isn't, that's just gonna mess up my station and my vibe, you might as well ask for the better version of them. Okay. So I'm going to be making better versions of cocktails that bartenders hate. I Good. Yes. So let's begin with everybody, and I guarantee uh, nine out of 10 dentists agree that toothpaste is good for you. Mm -hmm. I don't know who that 10th dentist is. Nine out of 10 uh, uh, bartenders agree that the mojito is the most annoying drink to get if it is not on a menu. Okay. It's a uh, mint is like the glitter of the, uh, of the bar world. Once you have made a drink with a mint, for the next three weeks, all of your stuff is minty. Really? So if you don't have a, 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 a mojito on your menu, you're just messing up something. You're just like messing up the vibe. So if you are going to go up and order a mojito from a bartender, yeah. I suggest at least go for the better version of it, which okay. is called the Old Cuban. Ah. So we're making an Old Cuban today. So at yes. least if you're ruining somebody's life, if the bartender is going to flip the bar on top of you and rip out each of your ocular cavities, yes. uh, you might as well get the better version of this drink. True. That's my thought. I have a quick shout out to a brand new viewer called Brian, who found us and is currently enjoying the show. So oh, good. Welcome, Brian. And uh, then also a quick shout out to uh, Matt, who's tuned in. We got Sterling, of course, and then we have Robert. And Robert says, Tammy, heard your singing voice recently. Ooh. Lovely. Since you're doing the cocktail thing on mix, I might add that your voice sounds like you could do fab jazz lounge compilation. You oh are correct. Uh, yeah. You are very correct. Leave it to Tammy to take and, a compliment uh, exactly who correctly. Knows? Yeah. Who knows what will happen? Oh, your brother's tuned in, Grant. Oh, Grant. Hey, Grant. Oh, Grant. Grant. Grant is fine. I will start calling him Grant. Um, I like that actually a lot better. We also have Clarence. Hello, my brother, Grant. Reed in here as well. And uh, all right, let's get mixing. Cool. Uh, so uh, all I'm doing right here, Tammy, is I am pulling off way too much mint. Yeah. Uh, we want to have as much mint in here as possible uh, because we want to make this mint go disintegrated. We just want it all off of here. So I'm just pulling these little mint guys out of here uh, as quickly as my little uh, fat hands can handle. Uh -huh. There we go. There we go. Okay, lots and lots of mint. More mint than you would use for a mojito uh, because this drink is going to, see this? I just want you to look. Beautiful. Now, of course, the camera can't see. Uh, can we uh, Can we go to Skycam real quick? Uh, look at my uh, station right yeah. now. It is literally just littered with mint. Yeah, and I have done- are working though. I have done nothing yet, but now every drink is gonna have mint somewhere in it. Okay. So let's just pull this off. 
Uh, we have uh, this uh, right here. Uh, next thing we're going to be needing is some simple syrup. Okay. At half of an ounce, this is uh, store-bought simple syrup. Uh, not necessary, no. but very nice. Yes. Very nice. It's just a bit easier. It's just a slightly easier. Way more easier. expensive. Yeah, way more expensive easier. and slightly easier. Yes. If that's not America, <laughs> I don't know what is. Uh, we are then going to take the juice of one half of a lime, mm -hmm. and we're going to squeeze this in here. We're looking for about half of an ounce of lime juice. Since this is a smaller cocktail, let's see if we can't get that exactly right. Squeeze this in to the jigger, and look at me. Right at the half wow. mark. Look at that. Bam. Look at that. Now this is where the annoying part of this drink comes in, which is muddle, uh, muddle, muddle. We have to that's really- That's why bartenders don't like it, because I gotta work a little bit, isn't it? it? Well, this one is working- you want the rum and cokes all night long. I we mean, do that's... want those rum and cokes all night. Yeah. We, that would be, I mean, honestly, those are great bars to work at. I'm actually wearing uh, the t-shirt. Frank and Hank. Frank and Hank's, one of my favorite bars in all yeah, of Los Angeles. It's a rum and Angeles. coke kind of place. It is a rum and coke. It the is mu It is a Jack Daniels oh, uh, oh. and coke kind of place. Okay. They are- uh, pool table, yeah. rough and tumble crowd. Yeah. Uh, I was the only person uh, in there that uh, did not have a face tattoo. Uh, oh. So I did not fit in super well, but I did love that place and I worked my way in. Uh, so we're just going to uh, muddle this until all of that mint has felt our wrath. We are just getting out all of the times we want to yell at a customer for adding a, a, a drink at the last seconds. Yeah. You know, I've made this, this, and this. Is this when you would already start panicking when you see more and more people panicking oh, yeah. up? And you're like, At this point, I am freaking out. Okay. Flop sweat. People are like, my, uh, my uh, uh, mojito is, is yeah. salty. Yeah. That's just my, my tears that have made it into the drink. Shout out to Alberto, who's tuned in from Chicago. There we go. Now, uh, can we get Skycam in there one more time just yes. to see uh, just how crazy green uh, that bad boy is? It is dark. Yeah, it you is see green. Nothing. Oh, well, let's move it up closer to Skycam. It's, like green it's not going to work. We're working on Skycam currently. So I just wanted to uh, give us as many uh, reasons to use it uh, as possible. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use a, uh, a nicer rum. Uh, why not? We're going to be using the Clement Agricole. Yeah. Yes. I love them. Me too. And we're only going to be putting in uh, one ounce of that. Oh. That's it? Don't be so sad, Tammy. We're not done. I'm like, Frank and Hank, we're, we're not done. more in there. <laughs> Tammy, we're more decent. Tammy really got her heart broken Decent amount of Frank and Hanks. I have mint in the ice. There's just mint everywhere. Okay. We're going to go ahead and uh, fill this guy up with ice. Yeah. We are going to give it a big shake. Here we go. Uh, we do have a winner from the Tammy contest, the we Tammy dance, but we will announce that later in the show. So yeah. if you guys want to see exactly what we are going for, this is Tammy dance. On the count of three, Tammy, ready? One, yes. two, three. It's perfect. It's perfect, perfect, perfect. That's how it's done. Uh, so now we uh, have uh, tins with mints, tins with everything in it. Let's go ahead and throw up our glass. This is a champagne flute. Uh, we are going to well, take. That's different. It is a little different. Yeah. We're going to take a jigger. Uh, oh, sorry. We are going to take a, a Hawthorne strainer. Mm -hmm. and we are going to take a double strainer, and we are going to pour this in. Now look how beautiful and green that comes out that looking. Is nice. Isn't that great? Yeah, that's beautiful. So you have this really pretty green cocktail. You don't see a lot of green. Uh, mojitos. See, the payback would be to not double strain it, so there's little itty bitty bits of mint in there. That would be the payback. Stuck in the person's teeth. Yeah, <laughs> we really, really, really get them then, Tammy. We really get them then. How often will they order that then? How would they ever show back up at work? Yeah. Uh, we're basically just gonna take everything that I shook with right yeah. now and throw it away. Okay. Uh, because that's gonna have mint in it for the rest of its life. That's yeah. the a big problem. The uh, last thing we have to add is, of course, some sparkling wine. We've done it. Tammy, we've done it. I love it. We've reached the pinnacle. See, Jay says he loves hearing the crew laughing in the background. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's us. <laughs> <laughs> We're not a silent show. No, 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 no. No, these guys still? are, these boys are liquored up. Oh. These boys one, are. One big liquor family here. These boys are 24 sheets to the wind. <laughs> 
Uh, we are. This is obviously going to take just a second to fill this up, but we have this beautiful green cocktail yeah, beautiful. that I always imagine old Cuban men playing dominoes yeah. uh, as they uh, sit and drink bones. Their bones as they sit and drink uh, their beautiful uh, cocktail. We're going to go ahead and just. I'm a twirl great domino this. player, by the way. Are you really? Yeah, I learned. Can you be good at dom? Like, is it a? Uh... Oh, there's a whole. That I've learned it really, really well in uh, in, in Puerto Rico. Because that's a serious, like, Dom yeah. is not just like, oh, I'll put a one on a one. Yeah. It, no, you, it's serious. And uh, do you ever, you do the bam and splash the dominoes? Is that part of it? No. No. See, that's the non-serious part. I don't want to play that. Yeah, yeah no, no, I just want to smash the dominoes. Uh, so this is it. This is the old Cuban. Okay. If you are going to order a mojito. Okay, but what's, what is the difference now? Or to round everything up again, the difference between a mojito and an old Cuban is? Sure. So the, uh, the mojito uh, is lime. Uh, sugar, uh, rum, mm. and this is lime, sugar, and rum yeah. uh, with mints. Both of them have mints. Yeah. Uh, the mojito uh, has soda water. Okay. Uh, this has champagne. Nice. And the uh, the big difference is how much mintier this is uh, because we have really crushed that mint in it to give it a green color yeah. as opposed to just subtly suggesting that maybe the mint come out and play for a minute. Uh, this is a, a much uh, a much mintier situation. Okay. Cheers. Oh, it smells. Mm hmm Mmm. Right? Oh, the champagne's a yeah. good too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a... Uh, that mix is a lot better. I mean, mojito's a mojito. You can't, you know... Hard to mess up a mojito. I mean, I, I've seen good. it. I've seen it done. But really? I've, seen, I've seen people mess it up mojitos. It smells so good too. Bad mints, uh, too much lime. Mm. Uh, that's true. Too not enough lime. soda water, too much soda water. Also not enough muddling because you can't be bothered. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, a really just a, uh, a quick thing. Uh, but this, this is, is delicious. Yeah, this is the way to go. If you're going to ruin a bartender's night anyway, yeah. you might as well get the better version of the mojito. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is great, Scott. Good. I never would have thought of it uh, with champagne. Yeah, I listen, to, this is not my cocktail, but uh, mm. I do. Uh, it is one of my favorites. Yeah, it was on a menu of mine uh, a while ago, and my bartenders wanted to, uh, Murray, wanted to, yeah, wanted to uh, Mike sleep? Pence me. Yeah, they wanted to pull me out and Murray, you they wanted to pull me out and, and hang me. It was, it was Fair rough. Enough? Yeah, it was rough. I thought they were on my side, but apparently they weren't. No, uh, it's a whole situation. No, that's when you know who's on your team. That's exactly it. They yeah, were, they yeah. Were not. When I started getting death threats in uh, the same, uh, the same handwriting that was on the uh, checkout uh, reports, I knew I was in some Great. trouble. Yeah. Um, I say, yeah, uh, we could do a little uh, coaster giveaway. Great, let's co let's give away coasters. So we have these pretty guys to give away. That one's for us. That one's for us. And I think it would be really cool if the challenge is for everybody who would like to enter this competition. Yep. To. Basically, make your favorite cocktail, make the most beautiful picture of that cocktail, as in don't paint it, make a photo. And <laughs> you, you, have can to say that. you can draw yeah, it. You can I mean, yeah. Honestly, the a limit. drawing yeah, might win too. Sky's the limit. Yeah. Um, uh, but post it on Instagram and tag Mix TV Show so that we know that you've actually posted it. And we will pick a winner next week. Yeah. How does that sound? Great. All right. I love it. So I can't everybody wait to get see. mixing, take a photo, hop on over to YouTube and tag Mix TV Show. Yeah. Um, now my mom I know is texting right now saying, does wine count as a cocktail? Uh, I would say no. I would mom, say no. I would say no, wine does not count as a cocktail. I would say, I did say Instagram. I said Instagram. <laughs> We're having a quick production meeting, back. if you guys don't mind. I'm gonna watch this back quick. and uh, <laughs> can, we get a, can we get a consensus in the chat? Uh, did she say Instagram again. or YouTube? I'm pretty sure I said Instagram. <laughs> you may have said Post it on Instagram, <laughs> on Insta, as all the cool kids call it, um, and uh, tag at Mix TV Show. Yeah. Go. Spectacular. All right, drink number dos. Okay, drink number two. Uh, the mojito is most bartenders' least favorite cocktail to yeah. make. I have my own personal least favorite cocktail to make. Uh, wow. It is a cocktail that is not difficult to make. Okay. It doesn't ruin my night. When somebody yeah. asks me to make this drink, uh, the process of making this drink doesn't throw me for the biggest loop of all time. Okay. It's the fact that when people order this drink at a place that doesn't normally have it, uh, they don't know exactly what they are ordering. 
They don't know what they want. Okay. They just they they want me to make something delicious but for they've them. They've heard of it somewhere. They've heard or? of it. It's um, called the Cadillac Margarita. Oh, it's called the Cadillac okay. Margarita. Now, when okay, you make yeah. a Cadillac Margarita, mm. uh, basically what you are asking for is a house margarita yeah. with a float of Grand Marnier. Uh, you want the expensive tequila. Mm -hmm. uh, so it ends up being, in some of my bars, that ended up being a $35 cocktail. Do they know that beforehand? I try and convince them okay. uh, that this is going to be an expensive cocktail. Let me make you something slightly different that you will enjoy. Yeah. And, and for I, that price, you could have three. For that price, like, you could oh, have yeah, three. Okay. Uh, no, uh, no, oftentimes they'll oh. say, uh, no, sir. They won't say sir. They would never say <laughs> sir. Uh, but I'll just, uh, in my mind, this is what I'm hearing. Uh, no, sir. I do not believe I will be having that cocktail. Instead, I will stick with my original thought. Okay. That's not how they say it. Uh, it's much ruder when they say it. Yeah, but, like, listen, guy. Yeah. Do, you, do your job. Yeah, exactly. Make they say, the listen here, bar here. nerd. Yeah. I want uh, I want my cocktail and I want it so now. So what are you going to make? So I'm going to make a, uh, I'm going to make a version of the uh, the uh, margarita yeah. that is called the Tommy's Margarita. <gasps> yes. I love Tommy's Me Margarita. Me too, but I'm gonna make this one spicy. Okay. I feel like there is a good, uh, th there's a lot of room uh, to make this one into a nice, delicious, spicy cocktail. Okay, don't make it too spicy though, because <clears throat> I will try not to I'll make it. spit it at I, you. <laughs> well. I will try not to make it too spicy, Tammy, but I do want to make it just a touch, uh, just to show the people. No, yeah, no, I will use okay. half of the spice that I would normally use. So let's begin. Now this is uh, invented by a man named Julio Bermejo mm. in the 1980s at a place called Tommy's. Yeah. Uh, Tommy's famous for having a gargantuan uh, tequila. Uh, I don't know if it's still the largest tequila selection in the United States, but at one point it was. Mm. Big, big uh, tequila spot. We're gonna be using three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. I will do uh, Julio the justice of actually measuring this out and not just squeezing lime into nothing. Nice. So we're going to go ahead and do three quarters of an ounce right there. Matt Daddy says, any chance my michelada could win? I mean, is a michelada? A michelada like could a, definitely win. If you make it look like a Bloody Mary, maybe, yeah. like with all the trimmings. Uh, yeah, I would say a Maybe. michelada can definitely win. Okay, all right. Uh, all right I, I'm not saying it will win. I'm not saying that that like off the top of the like off the top of my no, head. I think Matt just asked me if that would count. It would count. Got to count. Okay. It's a yeah. cocktail. Okay, counts. Fair enough. Maddie. All right, Matt. You're in, buddy. You're in. Uh, I put in two a little uh, jalapeno. These are called coins. Yep. Uh, I don't want to touch them because I have contacts in and I will have to take yeah, those out eventually. Yeah, you will definitely touch your eyes. Yeah, I know that for, sure. for a fact. Oh yeah, for sure. Boop, yep. boop, 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 boop. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, so I have uh, lime and I have jalapeno in here. We do want to put uh, just a touch of this uh, agave syrup yep. uh, in here. We're going to be putting in a quarter of an ounce of that. The agave syrup, of course, made from the same plant that tequila is made from. Mm. So we are able to uh, sort of match flavors, bring out the sweetness without covering it up. Uh, but since I know people are ordering a, uh, a Cadillac, mm. I know they want some orange in there uh, as well. So we're gonna reach right back here and then quickly remember that we forgot to put everything we need back behind the bar. So if somebody could find me some uh, Cointreau or some Grand Marnier, uh, the second shelf down, uh, closest to me. Beautiful. Yeah, Look I at think that. we have one bar. We have another bar. Yeah, we behind have a whole the second bar. We have the employee's bar. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, a Cointreau in here. Yeah. We are gonna go ahead and put uh, a, a quarter of an ounce. Okay. So we have, uh, we have uh, lime, we have jalapeno, uh, we have uh, an, uh, uh, agave, yeah. we have Cointreau. Like it. Looking really good so far. We're gonna take, good. We're gonna take our uh, muddler, put it into some water real quick because there's mints freaking everywhere. Uh, and we are going to uh, sort of massage these, um, uh, these jalapenos. We do not want to crush them. We do not want to, uh, we do not want them to lose their shape at all. All we're trying to do is get some of that uh, flavor and some of that uh, spice out of there. Is it a general thing that bartenders just don't particularly like cocktails that they have to muddle? No, I, I mean, I love, I, this, this version of it is a muddled version. You don't muddle 
the uh, the Cadillac. Oh, so I'm actually okay. add, adding muddling. Oh, uh, muddling isn't okay, a. So that's not muddling's like not a thing when. No, like, I, I think that you will find that muddling definitely is not an action that we are used to. Yeah. Uh, we don't do. We're not muddling everything. Yeah. So. Uh, it will throw us off for a second. You gotta go find your muddler. You oh, have to yeah. wash it. You, you know, you gotta do the yeah. whole thing. But uh, for the most part, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that muddling is what uh, turns us off. Okay. Uh, mint uh, turns us off. Okay. Bloop. Um, we're gonna go ahead and grab some tequila here. The tequila here we're using is called Angelisco. This is yeah. a reposado. Uh, this is a fabulous company Love uh, the here Angelisco in guys. here uh, in LA. We dig these guys a lot. We're gonna go ahead and put in an ounce and a half of tequila. Okay. Uh, but since you know we're no, uh, we're not cheapskates here. Yeah, we're not cheapskates. We're gonna go ahead and fill it right up to two ounces with the extra pour. Yeah. Uh, there, it makes it look good. Uh, and we are going to uh, give this a shake. Okay. Uh, why not? All right. So uh, everybody, get ready for the Tammy dance on the count of three. One, two, three. Tammy dance. Now I'm doing this a little slower, yeah. so the Tammy dance can go a little slow. I'm trying not to break those uh, jalapenos in there. I don't want that those jalapenos oh. sort of uh, cracking apart. I did all that work to keep them together. And there we have it. Okay. We have the, uh, we have Robert this asks, Scott, when is your book coming out? You really should be monetizing this. Uh, no. <laughs> I gotta learn to write first. Just you wait, Robert. Uh, we yeah. got albums coming out, we got books coming out. Tammy, you and I are... Uh, Gee whiz. Yeah, between the two of us, oh. we are a triple threat. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this guy uh, into here. Now, you can serve this over ice. I recommend not. Uh, okay. You can also put salt on the outside. Yeah. Yeah. I also recommend not. Instead, we're going to take uh, just a little bit of this uh, sal a saline solution that we yeah. had last time. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to pull some in. We're going to go ahead and drip One that in. One part salt, four parts water in your secret. Uh... In my secret that Tammy's given away now two times uh, in, in two weeks. Uh, <laughs> One part salt. Four parts water yeah. makes a delicious saline solution. <laughs> and uh, Tammy, if you wouldn't mind putting your hand out uh, just real quick, just put it like this. Like, oh. Yeah, like that? Yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and give you one little drop of this. This is homemade. Okay. Uh, this is a, we'll go ahead and just taste it real quick. Just give it a lick. Is it cyanide? It's, yes, of course, it's cyanide. I want on. Um, I want the murder <laughs> to be. Ooh, that is. That is a spicy metabola. That is a spicy. Woo. Yeah, so this is a uh, this is a hellfire tincture. Okay. Uh, I also have Hellfire bitters, but I think it goes better. Let's have you have a sip of it uh, without the Hellfire tincture, and then I'll put a drop <laughs> in there. Uh, just a quick a little splash. I know you don't love, love, love um, spice, but uh, just a touch extra will help this cocktail okay. out a lot. Oh God. Cheers. Cheers. Smells delicious. You can really smell the jalapeno. Yeah. Mmm. Um, it smells and it tastes really fresh, yeah. which is great. I yeah. love it when a cocktail tastes fresh. Absolutely. And refreshing, but my that spot where I taste it yeah. <laughs> is literally numb on my on my tongue. Um, mm. All right, so right now it's got a itty bitty bit of spice yeah. to it. The, I don't I'm gonna know. give you a splash of room. It's gonna be too much. Give it a splash. That was tons. You put an itty bitty drop on my yeah. on my tongue. My tongue I, I promise. I promise it dissipates, Tammy. <sighs> quick little quick little sip. Oh my god, I'm breaking Here, down this uh, way. I don't know if uh, you smell Somebody it. find some milk for her real quick, and then we'll go from there. I'll just slam the old Cuban. Yeah, just kill the old Cuban. Absolutely. Don't kill the old Cuban. Oh my god, somebody's gonna take that as a as a sound bite. Oh, it already smells deadlier. Yeah, it's a little spicier. Happened. It should just be a little bit pepperier. So you should start to taste a little bit more oh, of that tequila. Oh, yeah. That, Ooh, uh, ah. Okay, it comes on the back end. Yeah. It, but it's not as. Oh, there it is. It's honestly. It so me for a second. I was like, hey, is this going to carry on? The, uh, oh, this is good. The way that I make this is with. Um, nice. uh, this is uh, tequila, it's mm. uh, dry vermouth. Mm. And it is then uh, peppers. Mm. Uh, I do five different types yep. of peppers. You definitely I, taste the peppers. And I let it sit for uh, for six months. My recommendation: never use that on its own. No, 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 for no. anything. No, uh, Tammy, I just put a tiny little drop here. I will, uh, I will match you. I will go, I'll go three big drops. 
and, and then that, you that and I is, will be you is, and I will be doing the show from the same place. That spot is going to be dead forever on my tongue, clearly, because it still is. Mix it into Tommy's margarita. Yeah. Got yourself a great cocktail. Yeah, there. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I just wanted you to taste like there is more that to the pepper. Great. Yeah, more to the tincture than there uh, than just the pepper. Mm. It's not supposed to just be as hot as possible. Is, is all it is. Yeah, it does right? come on the back end. It's, yeah. it's just really yummy and and fresher and and I'm stunned that my mouth is not completely absolutely on fire right now. <laughs> we stunned. did it, Tammy. Did it. We did it. We did it. Love it. We made the spicy Julio. Alvin says, looks yummy. You betcha. Yeah. You betcha. Uh, I'm about to touch my eye right now. No, don't touch your eye. <laughs> oh my god, I, I almost just went don't right in. Don't touch your eye. Boop, 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 boop. I'm like, I'm like, it's like I'm three years old. I just cannot get my, my nest well, together. Not, well, everybody always knows when you're not supposed to do something, you want to do Oh yeah, that's all I want. Even more. All I want to do like is just rub my now. eye. I want to rub inside of the black part. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's still no. trying to kill me! <laughs> Sorry, Tammy. It's I was trying, trying, to, to kill me. trying to attack you with a blender. Damn, damn blender. All right, let's do, um, you know what we could do? What's that? We can announce now, mm -hmm. if it's okay, with, with the big crew in the background. Yeah. Yes. Our winner. Yes. From uh, last week. We had a winner. So the challenge last week for a mix uh, set, for a bar set, to actually make your own cocktails the challenge was to do the tammy dance and to post it and the best dance that we have is from vera schmidt in berlin schön yeah you won yourself vera. a person vera Woo! schmidt das ist der absolute hammer vera Guten Job, go. yeah. I don't, I don't speak what? enough German. Yes, you do. Your German. I speak German just German. enough. Yeah. I was like, I started, I started that 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 uh, <laughs> that uh, phrase, and I was like, I'm not gonna be able to finish. I thought Guten it was go Jobben. So oh, I put in Schön. Guten Jobben. Guten Jobben. Yeah. Yeah. Wer ist Schmidt? Guten Jobben. She speaks perfect English. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I speak pretty good English too. Anyway. <laughs> You won yourself the mix sets. Gratulation! Yeah. Es wird dir was zugeschickt. Yeah, we will be sending that by the slow and boaten. <laughs> yes. So it'll be getting there. We get there <laughs> in, in six minuten. Six monarchs. Six monarchs. Hang around. Yeah, I told yeah. it with the Fußgängerpost, which yeah. means the um, pedestrian. Panel. Yeah, that's exactly what it's going to be. It's going to be passed <laughs> from neighborhood to that. neighborhood. So you'll have that in about two years. It will get there, though. So uh, quick shout out to Betty, who's tuned in. And uh, I say now, let's make drink number three. Number three. Now this is a controversial pick. Okay. It's a controversial pick what because it is one of my actual uh, favorite cocktails. So it's got to be tiki. Uh, not te not uh, technically not tiki. <gasps> technically not tiki. Uh, no. Uh, there's mint in the ice still. Uh, I'm, just, I'm literally losing my mind. I don't know why I decided to bring mint uh, to this bar. Mint for the next six years. Uh, no, uh, one of my favorite cocktails. The problem with this cocktail was when people order it, yeah. for the most part, they uh, they want something different than what is the good version of it. It has ruined one of my favorite cocktails. This next cocktail has ruined one of my favorite cocktails. Really? Yes. Okay. Well, it is fine, called then. the strawberry daiquiri. Oh, I love this. I know, Tammy. I know. I Everybody love likes strawberry a daiquiri. strawberry daiquiri, but the daiquiri is such a wonderful cocktail by itself. Sugar and and lime and rum. You can put in fresh strawberries if yeah. you want. The problem with strawberry daiquiris is now they come in like tubes. All oh, the slushy they, machines. The slushy machines, yeah. like you see them in Vegas, they're hanging around. You know, uh, 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 Don King's well, they have head. The hats with the yeah, it's just like it's a whole. You're just like, yeah, what are we doing yeah, yeah. with this? Why? Yeah. Why are we doing this? Yeah. It has ruined the daiquiri. I tell people I love daiquiris, and I hope I got the beard, and everyone goes like, this guy yeah. doesn't bartend, the guy doesn't even know what he's talking about. Yeah. It has ruined my reputation. The daiquiri is a, is a fantastic cocktail. True, and it's become a slushy. It has become a slushy. Yeah. So I wanted uh, today to make a cocktail that has, the, that has all of the look and all of the ness of a strawberry daiquiri, yeah. but isn't a strawberry daiquiri. It brings it? more to it. So it is called the Queen Park Hotel Super Cocktail. 
That is literally what it's called. The Queen Park Hotel is uh, uh, was a hotel on uh, the Isle of Trinidad okay. uh, in the 1890s. Uh, it was this it was supposed to be this this grand place, uh, but within six months, beds were falling in on each other. Uh, it was uh, ruined by bed bugs. It was uh, uh, crazy. Just they they said that uh, the the rooms above the kitchen were louder than Times Square on New Year's Eve. It was just okay. it was it was just this horrible. But people kept coming because of the bar huh. and this new. Thing that was becoming huge everywhere in Trinidad, which is Angostura bitters. Yep. So people came from miles around to meet this, uh, to, to see this bar, and they had a, a, a few great cocktails, uh, but I wanted to make one tonight that really sort of exemplified that, and That's also great. gives me my daiquiri back. I just want the daiquiri back. Uh, let's begin. Uh, we're going to start off over here. With, of course, some lime. Use lime in all three of these cocktails. Uh, tonight, uh, we are going to do half of an ounce of lime here. Yeah. We're gonna measure it out. There we go, so squeeze that lime. See, everybody thinks that cocktail drinking is a little unhealthy. We get a whole bunch of vitamin C in Absolutely. It. All of our cocktails. Absolutely. Yeah, there's nothing unhealthy about the way we do it. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. There's a lot of unhealthy things going on here, Tammy. Uh, next thing we're gonna be putting in here is going to be some sweet Italian vermouth. Love it. So uh, Tammy knows all about vermouth. All about it. Yeah. Uh, it is a fortified wine. Uh, it has uh, some sweetness from the grapes, uh, and it has some extra alcohol uh, from the process in making it. Uh, so that is half of an ounce. So half an ounce of lime, half an ounce of sweet vermouth, half of an ounce of grenadine. Now you used grenadine earlier. We'll be using mm -hmm. grenadine today. Uh, pomegranate uh, syrup. Uh, don't get that pink uh, roses stuff. It just no. isn't the exact same stuff. It'll it'll make your cocktails taste. And it is best if you make it yourself. I Absolutely. Gotta admit. I mean, this is fantastic stuff. Yeah. Um, um, but that is it is the lazy guys. Yeah. Juice. It's simple because syrup from it the. Tastes, uh, yeah. It does still taste a lot different if you make it yourself, which is just simple. It's just pomegranate juice and sugar. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, really easy. That palm stuff, equal parts sugar to that. Yep. Next thing we're going to be putting in here is going to be an odd number for this. Normally you hear two dashes, three dashes. We're yeah. going to be putting in four dashes. Since this was such a popular, since Angus You do that sometimes. You say three dashes and then you put like eight. Uh, well, in so this recipe five. calls for four dashes, so we'll probably put eight. Okay. One, two, three, four. See, yeah, yeah. You always do, that. do it. The, the the things don't work. You do that. The tops don't work on these. Okay. Listen, I know what I'm doing. I think. Uh, and uh, the last bit we have to put in here is going to be the rum. Now I want to find a nice, uh, interesting rum. So we're going to be going with Zaya uh, tonight. The Grand Reserve. We want something a little dark, uh, something that has a little age uh, in it. So we're going to be putting in two full ounces of that. Beautiful. Right there. Now, uh, if we have done this correctly, uh, Tam, yeah. uh, this should come out looking very, very similar to a strawberry daiquiri. Now, I won't be blending this today. Um, uh, we're just gonna shake it. Uh, so here we go. So here comes the Tammy dance. Uh, uh, hopefully we did it right. Ready? Let's Ready? see. One, two, three. There we go. I'm seeing some pink in here. Uh, we're gonna serve this like they would have uh, in the uh, newest glass of the time. Uh, one of these uh, large martinis. Yes, look at this. Oh, yeah. So it's coming out with that grenadine. That's beautiful. It has that uh, Angostura giving it a bit of a pinkness. Uh, we are going to give this uh, just a fun little uh, garnish. But let me guess, do you have anything to say about the glass itself? Uh, I, I very much like this glass. Isn't that the big one that you don't like? Liar, uh, liar. Right? Yeah, He's a liar. Uh, no, that's true. Liar, liar, uh, man's a uh, No, I do, not, I do not care for the bigness of this glass. You always I think call it is... this the ridiculous 80s yeah. Yeah. Uh, martini glass. I do think that this glass is far too big, but it is holding a great cocktail currently. Oh, oh, uh, so so it I'm going to. In it. I'm going to give it a bit How of much a. I love uh, the glass. Yeah, I mean, normally, okay. normally what goes into this guy <laughs> is. Uh, is the uh, Chaco Smacatini, uh, and that's when I don't like this glass. Uh, I do like it though uh, when it has uh, this uh, beautifulness to it. We're gonna go ahead and put it right there. We're gonna flail this off, and we have a, <gasps> a beautiful I mean, uh, cocktail called the Queens Park Hotel Super Cocktail. Give that. That's 
a try. Yeah, I thought that was nice. That was that's the uh, that's the typical garnish for it. Well, not because it's also not a slushy right now. So yeah, it's not a slushy. Uh, yeah, it's not a slushy. There is some ice. I sort of let the gate open on the uh, on the Hawthorne so that there is some ice in there. I love it. Yeah. I want to taste it. Go for it. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Little ice. The little crunch. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, come on. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just uh, if you are going to order a strawberry daiquiri, why not have mm. something complex and delicious and interesting mm. like the Queens Park Hotel Super Cocktail? This is great. Yeah, that is a good cocktail. That is an old good cocktail. Now I know where people always went to, you know, that hotel. To Trinidad, yeah. To the to the bar. That's exactly it. it the only reason that people visited there it, it was oh. not for the bed bugs. Uh, it was not for, you know, just this sort this of uh, uh, sort of this crap hotel uh, that lived out there. But, uh, I mean, it's huge. It's this huge hotel uh, falling apart, doing all the wrong stuff. But their bar was spectacular. Okay, I'm confused right now. What's going There's a on? person named Craig. Oh, Craig? <laughs> what? Is there somebody in the chat, Craig? We're looking for you, Craig. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, Craig. Oh, Craig said, oh, Craig, okay, love the show, love your dance. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Well, that's somebody new. Oh, hey, and Craig. Clarence. And Reed's here, and hey, Reed. Paul's, of course, here as well. I'm so sorry, Samantha. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yay. Hi, everybody. I was <laughs> confused. I'm like, oh, I don't want to miss anyone. It's, it's more and more people are tuning in, so I'm getting a little, it's, it's very, very difficult to keep up in the chat, so please no one get offended if I don't say hi or I don't read your question. Post them multiple times and then I'll actually see them. <laughs> we do have a moderator now. We also drink more and more as the show goes yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. So um, things slow down here yeah. as well. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Uh, all right, I'm going to make a little recap right Great. now. Great. I love the recap. I uh, already know, though. Oh, you already know? I do. Really? I do. You don't often already know. I totally already That's know. That's good. Even though they were fantastic, yeah. obviously, you did a brilliant job. The most stunned I was, was with your, um, with Tommy's margarita. Tommy's margarita, sure. Because I'd never had it spicy, you made it spicy and it, uh, I was scared. Yeah. But you made it great. Even though I can still feel that one little drop yeah. that I tasted is still a lot. numb on my tongue. Um, so I would say mm -hmm. this is third place. Third place, the old Cuban. Well, that, that's a that, that's a good. I mean, we have no, only good cocktails ahead of that, so I mean, that's, that's great. It was fantastic. It was like you know third yeah, place. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. This I uh, was Tommy's Margarita. The way you made it. Yeah. Definite second. Absolute landslide win. Yeah, I love it. We're bringing back the, the strawberry margarita. Strawberry daiquiri. Or the, the, the strawberry daiquiri. The daiquiri will be mine again. I it did. is absolutely fantastic. Gonna lose this guy. Yeah. Let me make, put that in there. There you go. Oh, great garnish for that one. Oh yeah, it looks good. This is my fave for today. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, Robert says, obviously you are a great mixologist. What is the thing you enjoy most about your craft? Uh, well, uh, Robert, uh, I, I assume that's uh, my friend Robert. Uh, that's Robert York. Oh, yes. Robert York. Yes. My new friend Robert. Uh, new friend Robert. <laughs> uh, I thought I thought my uh, friend Robert was just throwing me up a softball. Uh, what is the, my favorite thing uh, about it? Uh, for a long time, I thought it wasn't the people. Uh, I thought it was uh, doing, uh, you know, just making the cocktails. But uh, now that I've been away from this for a year, yeah. uh, it really is the people. Uh, what I really like uh, afterwards. Sometimes we will sit here, uh, and I will make the group. Uh, a drink so we can sit and have a meeting afterwards. Uh, that is my favorite time uh, of the week. Uh, really is when we, uh, when I can uh, take what I have been uh, learning and studying and figuring out and uh, share it. It is, it is the breaking bread aspect of it. You, uh, very few Absolutely. people do you go drinking with. Like these are my drinking buddies. Yeah. That's another term for these are my best friends, but I'm an idiot and I can't express my emotions. Is what that is what <laughs> drinking buddies are. Yeah. Like, I'm a man and I yeah. don't want to say these are my best buddies and yeah. I love them. Yeah. You say these are my drinking buddies yeah. and those are good friends. So I uh, my favorite thing is uh, is the breaking bread aspect well, of it. We're your drinking buddies. No, you guys are. Now no, I, are. honestly, I don't know what I would have done without uh, this show. Uh, uh, you guys 
I would have just been sitting at home. I feel the same way. Drinking in the mirror. Absolutely. You know? I yeah. find it fun. I've learned so much in these past years. Yeah. It's always a pleasure for me. Yeah. But every good thing must come to an end. It's got to, Tam. So, um, I'm going to grab uh, next week. my favorite one. Uh, oh, we're always going to plug next week. Yeah, next week. Next week, um, we have the famous Yum Yum Foodie. Oof. That Eddie. is a famous person. Eddie's gonna be yeah, here. Yeah, that's great. You you have a week off. I will have the week off, but I will be watching and I will be commenting. I hope to see you in the I chat. I will absolutely be there. Just I will like I'm always stalking the chat. I will absolutely be well, there commenting, on. no doubt about it. Absolutely. It's gonna be fantastic. That's next week. Yep. And uh, I think there's gonna be some food too. Not just cocktails. Oof, I miss a bad week. So it's... <laughs> I miss a bad week. So, uh, yeah, you're going to yeah. be missing out. Doesn't yeah. mean that we can't do some food stuff. We should do some food stuff. I mean, we could. Yeah, you I make a I mean? really good chili. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe we'll do some chili cocktails at some right. point. Yeah. I do really good everything. Is that right? Yeah. What a catch. So, what a catch. God. That makes you a triple threat, Tam. You've done it. God. Singing. More than that. Yeah? No. Um, but I had super fun. Me too. These are delicious. Thank you so much for reinventing some classics to make the lives of uh, bartenders a little easier, apart from maybe still this one. They are. Th these drinks are not any easier to make. In fact, most of them are harder to make. Oh, fantastic. I just, I you just, just made them better. I just wanted to make them better. Oh, yeah. okay. So if you order them, have them like this, this to version. at least make them better. Exactly. That's exactly it. I would love to thank everybody for tuning in today. Thank you so much. Please come back again next time, uh, which is in one week. One week. So I am Tammy Harrison. This is Scott Cushman. Cheerio. Until next time. Cheers.